Hello and welcome to Structured Change. Today, as we continue through our SIPOC series, we move right to left um, to O, which is for output. And when we talk about output in the SIPOC sense, we're referring to anything tangible that is handed from one function to another in a process. From an engineering perspective, it's quite straightforward. We have things like designs, specifications, calculations, legacy reviews, it might be um, an FMEA, uh, FAMICA, all these different things that engineering produce. But there's also things that engineering produce or many functions produce that we just consider each day as being very ordinary admin tasks. For instance, a timesheet. A timesheet, and we won't go into great detail here, but a timesheet actually has information on it, which if done well, and the people who complete the timesheet understand what value it provides to the rest of the organization, you can actually increase the quality and the understanding of the activities that, that you actually do. The other benefit of fulfilling the O part of the SIPOC model is you start to see, it's quite often the case that the particular function is producing things by way of output that aren't really the responsibility or the accountability of the particular function. In the example that we're using throughout this SIPOC series, the organization as a whole had no idea that they had stretched engineering so far into taking administrative tasks, doing supplier checks, quality assurance, safety standards, you name it, the list went on. And when it came to the fact of them asking, well, why haven't you produced a particular engineering artifact? It wasn't down to competency or capability. It was due to capacity. And that's the beauty of a SIPOC. It brings out a lot of information in the exercise that is beyond the two-dimensional view of the table that you produce. So again, as we continue through, let's take a look at O for output. Okay, in our second part of the SIPOC series, we're gonna jump now through to the output. So after having done customer, we really want to re understand what is it we're actually handing it to a customer. Is it an artifact of some description? Could be advice, could be something written, could be a file, could be something physical. It's, this is the exercise that will uncover that with your workshop. So again, here we go here. What is the item that is being provided to the customer? That's our focus. We are here in the SIPOC process. And as we move forward, standard format of a template, we're interested in the output. And again, this can be on paper, on a whiteboard, any way that you can capture the information from your discussion with your particular function. You can see here, from an engineering perspective, they've identified that what they produce in their function on a day-to-day -day basis. We've got drawings, models, specs, intellectual property of some description, bill of materials, which is what BOM stands for, could be advice, other models. So you've got 3D models up here, it could be just the other models or our cal calculation models. Quotations, so again, pointing to sales. Estimates, pointing to sales or management. Approvals of some descriptions and schedules. So, you know, just going through that output list there, you kind of get a view that says, suggests that um, they've got a, quite a diverse range of outputs that they need to produce. So as we go through this process and we work across to supplier, then input, then process, it'll be interesting to see what inputs we've got to work with in order to process them to get to these outputs. Anyway, thank you for taking a look at the output side of the SIPOC. Let's continue the series and move up to the suppliers in our SIPOCs.